Now it's time for more shopping. I'm gonna look for a gift for my mom in the Irish store. I got her something. And I'm really thinking about going to Sprinkles. I've never had a Sprinkles cupcake, I don't think. And I really want one. And I know they hype it up so much that I gotta try it while I'm here. As much as I wanna use the ATM, I wanna go inside and actually see what the cupcakes look like and see how many different types of cupcakes they have. I got my cupcake. I got a Sprinkle one because I went to Sprinkles and because it seemed like it was the most plain and I can't open this with one hand. I have absolutely destroyed the bag to get to it, but this is the Sprinkles Sprinkle Cupcake. Uh oh, the bag's gonna fly away. But I wanna take a bite. It's pretty good. It tastes just like a cupcake to me though. I have only ever heard people saying that Sprinkles always has a long line. It was like practically empty in there, so I don't know, maybe it's the off season or no one's buying cupcakes at 12.53 on a Monday. Either way, I got a cupcake. I'm chilling and it looks like, shh, it looks like the rain's coming in. So I can't stay here for very long. We're gonna go work that cupcake off with a round of bowling at Splitsville. I can't pass it up, it's, it sounds too fun. There's no slip at all on the shoes, so you plant and you kind of stick. It sucks. Game one, 147. That's not too bad, seeing as I haven't bowled and I don't know how long. I'm setting up a time lapse. We're gonna see if I can actually time lapse me bowling a game. And it's probably going to be horrible because the first game I did great, second game, not so much. Third game, probably even worse. I have pulled three games in 30 minutes, and I have 30 minutes left, and my arm is going to fall off if I don't slow down a little bit. So I might just take a chill. This is my first beer since the last race. I haven't had any alcohol in three or four months, and I'm, I'm starting with the cheapest beer you can get. One, because it's cheap. Two, because anything above 4% is going to lay me out right now. And I really want to stay functional for the rest of the day, at least for a little while. The beer is hitting me pretty hard. And I don't know if it's helping my bowling game or not. It's definitely making me care less about how much my shoulder's hurting. Okay, don't vlog and bowl. You set the camera down and then it works. You hold the camera and it doesn't work. I'm bowling left-handed for the last five minutes. And I'm actually doing a lot better than I was right-handed. This is sad. This is very sad. But now at least my arms will be equally as sore tomorrow. Six games, 60 minutes, a total score of 705. That last game was my worst. I'm gonna go back out into the heat. I'm sweating from bowling. I'm gonna go back into the heat. We are back outside and it is very, very hot out. I wanna try to do one more thing before I get a bus back to the resort to go lay in the pool. And that is ride one of the, I almost ran over a child. That's ride one of the boats. They're not the expensive boat, the regular. I hope they're free. 
but if not, I'll pay anyway because I want to ride the boat across the lake. We're taking a pit stop on the way to the boats to go pick up some Advil from Guest Relations because I want to nip this in the bud. I want to get in front of the pain. Going on this detour just means I get to walk around this area a lot more, which is nice because it's a nice area. Just like that, we are back on land. That was a smooth boat ride. I was expecting, because it's pretty windy out, that the boat was going to be doing this the whole time. But it was smooth sailing. It's windy again, isn't it? We're going to head back to the buses, and then from there, we might go to the pool or something. So I'll see you guys there. And just like that, we are back at the resort in my room. I think I'm gonna go for a swim. It's four o'clock, not yet time for dinner but it is perfect swimming time. So I'm gonna go for a swim. I'm gonna leave the camera here. I'm just gonna relax for a little while. Uh, try to see if I can get my muscles to uh, stretch a little bit and not be so sore. And then we'll talk about planning for tomorrow, which is Magic Kingdom. You guys missed it. The pool was cool and all, but I went out before I came back to the room to take a couple time lapses from the fourth floor and I saw a bald eagle. This is the best I could get out of, oh, is it ever gonna load? This is the best I could get out of the time lapse because it made it into like two frames. But it was a straight up bald eagle with some sort of fish or a snake or other living critter that's not living anymore in its talons. And it was just swooping around and I was like, it is still very windy out. That's why I'm taking so many time lapses today. I'm probably not gonna include them all in this video I'll spread them out and use them as like the uh, end, the end of the video or something like that. Uh, just so I don't overwhelm you guys with the same basic concept every single minute or something. I just cannot get over how pretty this place is. There's so much greenery here. It's unbelievable. Like when you think, uh, I don't even know. When I signed up for this hotel, I was telling someone about it and they said, oh, I hope you aren't accustomed to like the Hilton because they said this is gonna be like horrible quality. 
And so far, I'm that is as far from the truth as possible. They made it sound like some rundown motel, and the only motel aspect is the fact that the doors open to the outside instead of to an indoor hallway, and that's about it. And if by some chance that this is just a low quality hotel compared to the others that Disney offers, when I come back, I'll have that much more of an awesome experience. I was gonna talk about tomorrow's plans out here, lakeside, but it's very, very windy. So I have a feeling all you can hear now is just noise, 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 noise. I had this cool like clip planned out to buy some vending machine food, but it's $2.25. I'm not doing that. We're just gonna talk without me eating. Goodness, I brought two dollars because I was like, okay, maybe it's gonna be a dollar fifty. Nope, they're gonna get you. That's how they're gonna get you. Two dollars and twenty-five cents for some M and M. Before we start talking, I'm getting some of my race pictures, and some of them are really good. Is it gonna focus? There it goes. Some of them are really good, but some of them aren't showing up. Like my very my this is my finisher picture, but my after the finisher with the medals picture isn't showing up and that's worrying me that maybe the bib was covered or something. I also took some, I haven't seen these yet. Look at me being scared of the alligator. I took some at Disney Springs today. That wasn't, that's not too bad. Okay, but we're talking about tomorrow. Because Disney World is so awesome with their Fast Pass Plus and they're signing up for everything with the Magic Bands, tomorrow it's already been planned out by me a couple weeks ago, we're going to Magic Kingdom. First park out of the four, and it's the, the classic park. I'm not gonna say it's the original because the original is in, you get it. I have my three fast passes already signed up. Tomorrow, April 25th, we have Space Mountain at 10.15, Pirates of the Caribbean at 2.40, and Peter Pan at night at 7 p.m. Because I totally forgot to do the fast passes when they came out like 60 days ahead or 30 days ahead, and I did it like two weeks ahead. And so I, I missed out on a lot of the rides. But Space Mountain, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Peter Pan, I think are three solid rides. And then I can do all the other stuff that I might want to wait for while in between these. There's enough gap between 11.15, 2, uh, and then 4 o'clock and 7. That's a huge gap. I figure I'll be able to do a lot of the stuff that I want to do. I don't know if I'm gonna do everything. I have to look at the map. That's one of the reasons why I got the map. I have no idea what there are, what shows there are, what is, is there fireworks, uh, what time are the fireworks. Then after tomorrow, let's just run down real quick. So Tuesday is Magic Kingdom. Wednesday is Hollywood Studios. I have Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror, Star Tours. Thursday, is Animal Kingdom, Expedition Everest, Dinosaur and Kilimanjaro Safari, and Friday, the last day, Epcot Test Track, Spaceship Earth, and Journey into Imagination. I think those are all good. The battery light is flashing, so I have to talk really quick. The camera just turned off. So what I was saying was I had to talk quick because the battery was dying. But other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow, bright and early. We are going to Magic Kingdom. It is going to be an awesome day. I hope you guys enjoyed today uh, at Disney Springs and then just kind of wandering around the resort as we always do every other day in these vlogs. I will see you guys tomorrow though, bright and early, Magic Kingdom. I hope you're ready because I'm ready. Take care. Goodbye.